Have you ever wondered how body fat develops? Well, let's start by understanding what body fat or adipose tissue actually is. This soft, squishy stuff that we often wish away plays a crucial role in our bodies. Body fat is our body's way of storing energy for later use. Think of it as a biological battery, storing potential energy for when we need it. But it's not just an energy reserve, it also serves as an insulator, helping to maintain our body temperature and protect our organs from injury. Beyond these roles, body fat is vital for hormone production. Several hormones, including estrogen and leptin, are produced in adipose tissue. These hormones play key roles in regulating bodily functions like appetite, metabolism, and even reproduction. However, like many things in life, too much of a good thing can be bad. Excessive body fat can lead to health problems, so it's a delicate balance. Now that we know what body fat is, let's delve into how it develops in the body. So, how does body fat develop in our bodies? It all starts with the food we consume. Each morsel we eat contains calories, which are units of energy. Our bodies need this energy to function, so we burn these calories to keep the wheels turning. But what happens when we consume more calories than we need? Well, our bodies, being the efficient machines they are, don't let these extra calories go to waste. Instead, they convert these excess calories into fat, storing them away in our fat cells for a rainy day. This process involves a series of intricate biochemical reactions, turning the food we eat into stored energy. However, when we consistently consume more calories than our bodies need, these fat cells start to add up, leading to weight gain and increased body fat over time. Thus, the development of body fat is not some mysterious process, but a direct result of our calorie intake. As we see, the development of body fat is directly related to our calorie intake, but how can we burn this stored fat? Burning fat might seem like a mystery, but it's actually a well-understood process. When the body needs energy and it's low on its immediate source, glucose, it turns to the fat stored in your cells. This fat is broken down into glycerol and fatty acids in a process known as lipolysis. The glycerol and fatty acids then make their way to your muscles and other tissues. Here they're converted back into energy, which powers your body's many functions. This is a process we call oxidation. It's like your body has its own little power plant running on fat when glucose is in short supply. But remember, this process isn't a standalone operation, it's influenced by many factors. Your diet, for instance, can affect how much fat your body stores and burns. Regular exercise can kickstart the process, helping your body tap into its fat reserves. And don't forget about sleep. It plays a critical role in regulating your metabolism. While this process might seem simple, it's influenced by a variety of factors including diet, exercise and even sleep. So, what are the key points to remember about body fat development and burning? Firstly, body fat is not your enemy. It plays a vital role in our health, cushioning organs, storing energy and regulating hormones. However, too much of it can lead to health issues, so it's crucial to strike a balance. Secondly, body fat develops when we consume more calories than we burn. These excess calories are stored as fat cells, contributing to weight gain. Thirdly, burning fat occurs through a process called lipolysis. This is where stored fat is broken down into energy, a process that can be influenced by our diet, exercise and sleep habits. Consuming a balanced diet, staying active and getting enough rest are key to promoting efficient lipolysis. Understanding the biology of body fat can help us make healthier decisions and lead a balanced life. Remember it's not just about losing fat, it's about maintaining a healthy balance.